In this video series, you will see how SOLIDWORKS parts can be combined together to form more complex models known as assemblies. The process of connecting parts together is known as mating them together. The part we are assembling, seen here, is a gearbox housing made up of four individual pieces, two connector plates, an output side for the motor shaft to connect to the wheel, and a terminal side for wire connections to the motor. Let's get started. Now to begin our assembly, first click File and New. Select Assembly and press OK. This brings us into our assembly document. First, click the green tick to say that you want to begin the assembly. This document is currently unsaved, so before we begin, select File, Save As, and then give the file a relevant name. Click on the Assembly tab on the ribbon and then select Insert Components. Browse to the terminal side part and click Open. Finally, click on the green tick to add the part. Now we need to add our first connector plate. Repeat the last steps by clicking the assembly tab and then insert components. Browse to the connector plate and click open. To attach the connector plate to the terminal plate, we want to connect these four plugs with these four sockets. To join them, we are going to be using our first mate, known as a coincident mate. Coincident mates are used when you have two surfaces or edges which you would like to touch or coincide with each other. To add our first coincident mate, select the assembly tab and then select mates. This brings up the mate tab which shows us all the different ways that we can connect parts together. We need to select the faces that we want to have touching each other which is this face on the connector plate and this face on the terminal plate. Notice how by default SOLIDWORKS has selected the coincident mate for us. We could change this to a different mate using the little pop-up menu which is shown here. But for now we're going to stick with the coincident mate. Select the green tick to finish it off. Notice how the two faces that we selected are now in perfect alignment. Time to add our second mate. With the mate tab still open, select the blue box to start choosing the faces we want to mate. Select this face first on the topmost tab of the connector plate and we want to have it connect to this face in the topmost socket of the terminal plate. Again SOLIDWORKS defaults to the coincident mate for us and joins the parts together. We have now locked the part in two dimensions with our two coincident mates but as you can see we haven't fully mated the part as it can still move from side to side. To fully lock the part we need to add a final coincident mate. To do this, select this face on the connector plate and then select this face on any one of the socket holes on the terminal plate. Again, SOLIDWORKS selects coincident for us and the part is now fully locked and cannot be moved. This completes joining the connector plate to the terminal plate. Now we're going to do the same thing again for the next connector plate. Import the file, same as we did before. Although this time I'm going to show you a quicker way to mate the faces. Hold control and select the two faces you wish to mate. This will cause a pop-up window to appear asking you which mate you want to complete. Select coincident and the mate is done for us. And now repeat those steps for the next two coincident mates. First connecting the top of the plug with the top of the socket. and then this side with the side of the socket. And that's it for those two pieces. Time to add our final part, the output side. Same as before, press insert components and browse to the output side part. Once it's added, move it approximately into place by clicking and dragging it. This should be easy now, same as we've done before. Let us add the coincident mates to finish off the assembly. Select this face, and then control select this face, mate them. Then the outside of the socket, with the outside of the connector plate. Again, see how the part is now locked in two dimensions and just needs a third coincident mate to fully lock it. 
make this face with this one and the part is now fully locked in place. This finishes our assembly for now. In this video you've learned how to use coincident mates to create a gearbox housing out of four separate SOLIDWORKS parts. Thanks for watching, see you next time.